everyone. It's time for another snack react. Um, yeah. So some more stuff from Yami Bai. I have some more royal milk tea. This time strawberry flavor. It. I think I seem a little eh, but uh, I'm actually recording this at like 11, 1140 at night. So it's been a long day, so energy level kind of low. But anyway, so yeah, the strawberry milk tea. It actually has a pretty strong strawberry smell to it. Just starting off with that. Um, yeah. Let's see if the taste matches up. I see it blow on a little bit. I just made it, so it's still kind of hot. Yeah, that that is pretty sweet. That, that's definitely strawberry. Huh. I'm kind of conflicted on this one because, like, unlike the matcha, it does actually have a nice sweet taste to it. But also, like the matcha, it uh, it doesn't quite. Uh, how should I put it? It overpowers the actual milk tea portion of it. Like. The uh, sakura milk tea actually complemented the flavor, whereas this just kind of overrides it, which is, I, I mean, the flavor's not bad, but uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping for kind of a complementary flavor. I'd pick up more if they if they had them at the stores. Pretty good. And uh, next up is some more some more bread. <laughs> now this time a maple a maple baked wheat cake. Er. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't actually tried the maple one before either. A lot of the a lot of these I've actually had before, but uh, this and the red bean paste bun were kind of new to me. Damn, hold on. Ugh. Sorry, drink up my nose acting up a little bit. Yeah. Warm drinks always get my nose a little runny. Anyway, now that now that I can actually smell it, whoa, yeah, that 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 is maple. Wow. They didn't do subtle for the smell at all. But how about the flavor? Hmm, reminds me of breakfast. I haven't had pancakes in a while. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, initial tasting. Mostly Mostly bread flavor. I mean, it's like, oh, okay. Getting a bit of an aftertaste. I think there's like a slight maple aftertaste to it. It is still primarily bread flavor, but like it's a, it's a nice bread flavor. I, I could munch on these all day. <laughs> I 
like they're really nice and soft and very chewy. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, like with these videos, I'm rating them, uh, as I, like, on a per video basis, since I'm, I, I'm kind of not sure when I'm recording what and when and if I'll have the things I need to record the other parts of it, when I actually record one part of it, you know, like, um. Uh, I haven't actually recorded the last part of the first one of these videos yet, and yet I'm recording the first part of the, of the second video. And I have like three different things of Kit Kats to try out. And one more drink. Actually, one more milk, I believe one more milk tea and a soda. But, uh, yeah. So, the strawberry milk tea. It's it's not bad, but uh, again, it kind of overpowers the milk tea flavor. What the flavor does have is nice, so I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. The bread, on the other hand, Okay, the, the aftertaste is a little weird, and honestly, not quite as good as some of the other breads I've had from this brand, but uh, I'll also give it a 6 out of 10. Not bad. Like I said, I could munch on these all day, but honestly, with me to get higher than a 6 requires a certain something special, like... A really unique flavor, or flavoring that makes you go, whoa. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for this part. I'll be back with some more stuff. Okay, I'm back. I decided, uh, I did some thinking. I decided, like, okay, I'll just do two parts for this one. Because, like, I'm... I'm doing this. I have the Kit Kats anyway. May as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, next up is more Royal Milk Tea. This time, regular flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's like I've had the uh, Sakura, the Strawberry. I, the Matcha was, I believe, a different brand, so that, does, that doesn't count. But, yeah, and now the regular. So yeah, this time it doesn't have any other flavors to, I guess, get it in the way. So yeah, here's hoping it's good. Okay. Has your standard milk tea scent to it. That's to be expected. I mean, it would have been weird if it was, I don't know. But yeah, it smells good. a little hot. <laughs> yeah, I just made this and uh have to sip it. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's milk tea. Nice and creamy. Has a bit of that uh yeah, how should I put it? Like yeah it tastes like tea but it also has like a like a nice creaminess to it. And yeah, it's very nice. I I uh, let's see, I think honestly out of all the milk teas I picked up from right I'm doing the Yami Bai videos. Uh, I've been recording so many videos lately, it's like, wait, which one am I doing now? I'm just checking. Okay, just uh, just notice something. Better. 
yeah, I think I said like this is another late night recording. And yeah, it's just after midnight, so yeah, I have to change the date. But yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, milk tea is good. So next up is Sakura Kit Kat. I have very high, oh, well, I shouldn't say very high expectations. I mean, I'm hoping they're good. I mean, these usually are, so yeah. So let's get this open. Like it has a nice design to it. Ah, this one's pretty broken. Nice pink coloration to it. I think this one has, I believe this might be like a white chocolate base. But, um, it's hard to tell sometimes, especially when you know, it's all in Japanese. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually quite interesting. I'm getting a bit of like white chocolate, but uh, there's a. Very. Th I'm not sure if thick is the right word in this situation, but like the. It's kind of combining with the texture of the whole thing, but like the flavor. Like. I wouldn't say it's a strong soccer flavor, cherry flavor or whatever, but. Uh, I mean, it kind of is, but uh, this one's hard to describe, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, yeah, I like this. Um, it, uh, yeah, like so far, I would like it better than the uh, chocolate orange, which was also pretty good. Uh, the chocolate orange Kit Kats from last episode, which I actually also recorded. Okay, not today anymore, but you get the idea. Uh, right. Anyway, yeah, soccer Kit Kat, good. Now for the ratings. I believe I did the ratings for the other ones in the previous part. So for the uh, royal milk tea. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's okay. But I think I like the other brand better. Uh, it... May... Oh, okay. Partly on a flavor... Partly for flavor. And partly because in the other packs, you get 12 of them and you only need one packet per drink. Whereas with the Royal Milk Tea, you basically need two packets per drink and you only get 10 of them. So... Yeah, 12 drinks versus, versus 5 drinks. So, yeah, and uh, the uh, Sakura Kit Kat. I'm giving that a... 8 out of 10. Very good. I like it. I approve. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, that's it for this episode. I have one more episode left for the this current yummy uh, this current yummy by assortment which i believe i'll also be recording it in two parts probably none at night though because uh yeah i've used well i haven't used up all the milk tea but i've already uh, this is the last one i had to review anyway yeah uh, like i said that's it for this episode i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all next time see you later